Got a problem with the compressor that when I turn it on, it's solid. So let's strip it down and see what's going on. So these uh, clips, you just grab them, twist them, and away they come. Because what we're going to do is take this front grill off and then attempt to turn and see which one sees that, whether it's the motor or the or the pump itself. It's a bit bizarre, I don't know why it's done it. But we'll soon figure it out. It was smelling a little bit last time I used it. It's smelling like it's got a bit hot. It's not the pump, it's not the motor. Well, that's interesting because oh, that's quite interesting. So, according to that, neither the motor or the pump is seized up, which is great news. I've got an inkling now, it may well be the capacitor. These motors, they can't start themselves off of a straight feed they need this uh, the capacitor to it somehow eases it uh, eases the load on the motor on the on the initial startup so if I if I turn it on and flick this it might we it might well start there we go it's starting to go already so it's trying it's on compression but if I give it a so hidden in this little control box on top of the motor, we're going to find the startup capacitor uh, and also a, a circuit breaker fuse. So we'll whip the four screws out and, uh, and we can check it. The reason I say I think it's this capacitor, I had a similar problem with my tumble dryer and that was doing almost exactly the same thing. If you helped it, it would start um, and, uh, and it also gave the burning smell. The startup capacitor it increases the torque of the motor on startup and stays powered in usually for about 70% of the initial speed. So what we've got here is a trip. It's a trip switch and that had flicked across. So obviously the load of that, yeah there we go, look she's back in again. I can see the problem. I was saying to you about the capacitor. Here's the capacitor look, and you can actually see it's got really hot, it's melted, and all its gubbins have started to come out the side. So, if I lift that up, there's the problem. You can see all that, all that, it's all melted, and all the black's coming out. So, that's brilliant news. I can order a new one of these off of eBay. As long as I get the numbers right, we should be about there. We'll stick a new one of them in there, and uh, hopefully that will sort it out. This one's made by Facon. It's 60 UF, 450 volts AC. So I've been eBaying, and pack package has arrived, and there it is, the nice new capacitor, startup capacitor for the compressor. So let's stick it on, and hopefully it'll fix it up and make it work. So the first thing we've got to do, this original one where it joins into the switching body there, it's got um, ring terminals on the end of the wires and the new one has just uh, got soldered tinned ends so we'll just crimp we'll crimp these ring terminals to the to the wires to start with One. So, right, so they're nice and secure. Okay, 
I'll just try and clean some of this crud out of here if I can. This is the molten gubbins out of the out of the capacitor. I'm going to just get a bit of it off. It's uh, it's better. Okay, let's work that. Out. Now I've got a, a seven millimeter. Six is too is too small. Seven's too big. So it's almost a um, it's an imperial size. But not to worry. This does the job. Uh, let me drop that in there if you can help it. So I've got positive on the end. Um, and then I've got to add the bowl off completely there. Looking at that. So I'll lift this bowl up. Is that one there? Okay, that's that off there now. And away it comes. And that's away with the old. Okay, so in with the new. Positive is going to go on the outer one, and that negative is coming in on here. Like that. Just negative, it's neutral on this because it's mains, isn't it? Spacer back in. Okay, okay. So positives in. We've got the bar back in. That one's going in on the end. We want the little washer on the top of that one. And then we've got. There's not going on that one there. I'm not going in on that one there. On the middle, on the middle one, and then not last but not least is the. I'm not going in on the on the positive on the end. Let's whiz those back down again. Put that one out of the way. Make sure they're nice and level. First one, another one, and the end one. So that's all in there. Now we've got this new capacitor all linked in. And let's see if we can get this in its little holder. Actually, just as caution, this new one's got a nut on the end of that, and it is loose. I don't need it, I'm going to take it off because I don't want it vibrating and falling into the motor because it can get into the motor down there if you're not careful so I'll do that and then it's just going to save any problems in the future and I'll pop the top back on there I'll 
So. Bingo. While I'm here, I might as well just have a look at the filter, see what state that's in. See, actually, that's not bad at all, it's quite clean. Uh, I was expecting that to be far worse, but uh, that doesn't look bad at all. And pop that back in again. the start up and see what happens. <laughs> That's all not good. So there we have it, trusty compressor up and running, all fixed again. Lives to fight another day. If it's been of any use to you, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.